In this limud, we will try Hashem, to establish some of the basic parameters of the din of Noti Inche Adai to the Hochi. When is this din relevant? Why do we need this din? And to try and define the, the svara that underlies this halacha. In the Sugis Hagimara itself, we find the concept of noti in sheadai to the hochi used in three instances, three cases. The first is the case of Kaira. The case of Kaira Rashi defines as the rach shal dekel, the soft branch of the palm tree as it begins to develop. Where there the Gemara brings a machloikes between Rav Yehuda and between Shmuel if the bracha is bayer pri hadama or shahakoil. And the Gemara says that the halacha follows Shmuel, that the bracha is shahakoil, because dikla loinoti inshe adaito de kaira. A person doesn't plant a dekel, he doesn't plant a palm tree with the intention of consuming the dekolim while they are still pliable and soft so that they can be eaten. Rashi explains that the reason why that doesn't, person does not plant a dekel in order to consume the, the branches while they're soft is because that will impact the full development of the tree. Shehoichloi says Rashi, mimait anfei That decreases the growth of the branches of the tree. So therefore, a person doesn't plant a dekel with the intention of consuming the dekel in the form of kaira. That's the first case. The second case, on the other hand, in distinction to the case of Dikla, where the bracha, because of Lainoti Inche Adata the Hachi, is Shehakoil, in contrast to that is the case of Pugla, which is the case of Pugla Rashi defines as a Tznoin, Rashi defines that as a, some, some, some form of an onion. In that case, the Gemara says, in contrast, Tznoin Noti Inche Adaita the Pugla. A tznoin that is planted in order that it should be consumed while the bulb is still soft before it hardens. And therefore, there the bracha is bir priha doma. Rashi says, Adai to the pugla, lo ochloi kishurach, to be eaten when it's, when it's still moist and soft, ushmoi pugla, and therefore its definition is that of the pugla, the bulb, which is eaten. That's the second case. The third case is the case of tzlaf. Tzlaf is a, Rashi says, is a mean eight, is a kind of a tree. And the Gemara says that not just does one make a bracha of boer priho eight on the fruit of the tree, which is called noti inche adaito, adaito de parcha, for the fruit of the tree, but one also makes at least a boer priha doma, the Gemara says, on the Alin and the tamrois. The alin and the tamrois are the alin are the leaves, and the tamrois are Rashi says besoicha alin gedelim kimin tamrois uboltim baole. There's certain protrusions that grow from the that grow from the leaves, and those two, the Gemara says, have a boyer priha adomo. Ala alin vala tamrois oimer boyer priha adomo. And the Gemara says the reason why there's a boyer priha adomo similar to pugla, in contrast to the din of kaira kaira is a shahakoil, the soft part of the palm is a shahakoil, whereas in the case of Pugla, we saw it's a Bayer hadama. so the Gemara says the reason why even the alin and the tamrois, the leaves and the protrusions from the leaves have the bracha Bayer hadama, is because the Gemara says noti inche adaito dushusa. Rashi says that a person plants the the, 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 the plants the, the tzlaf tree lechoil esa alin veesa tamrois. To eat also the leaves and the and those protrusions, the tamrois that grow on the leaves. So the Gemara seemingly is establishing a principle that if something was planted not to be consumed in a certain form, in the case of Kaira, it's planted not to be eaten in its edible form because that will stunt the growth of the tree. In that case, the brocha is a shahakoya. Whereas if it's not a adaita dahachi, for example, in the case of tsnoin, where it's going to, the tsnoin is going to be consumed and the bulb and the leaves are still rach. And so too, in the 
case of the in the case of the uh, slav, it includes Allen and Tamrois. The day to the hochi is Allen and Tamrois. Therefore, in that case, says the Gemara, the bracha will be a bayer prihadam. This is what we have mafurish in the Gemara. Now, what we'll see is, is that the Rishonim will apply the principle of notea day to the hachi to cases that are not mentioned mafurish in the Gemara. Just to remind the Olam, we had in last week's Limud a Rashi that already discussed noti in day to the hachi in a different case of the Gemara, and that was in the case of kamcha dechiti. The case of someone who eats, who eats ground wheat. Rashi says that the reason why the brocha on ground wheat is shahakoil is because the pre was nishtane, the chito was nishtane. And Rashi says, lo noti in to eat it as kamcha. That was the Loshan Rashi in the sugi before. The reason why the brocha is shahakoil is, is shahakoil. Rashi says, yotza michlal pre. It's not pre because it's crushed chita. It's no longer pre. As we mentioned in last week's lean, what Rashi Shita is on the Sugi and the Flamet Ches and Trima, that whenever something has lost its form, it's no longer considered pre. But Rashi says, Rashi says, it still hasn't come to its usual form. Rashi is in contrast to Shemen, where Rashi says, that's the way it's, con- it's consumed as a shemen. And Rashi says, Zaysim in the first place were planted in order to eventually produce shemen. And therefore Rashi says, that defines it as hilkach prihu. Now the Gemara in the case of shemen zayi never mentions that shemen zayi has a brocha of bur it's because I died to the hochi not too. The Gemara never brought, the Gemara never mentioned that. But Rashi requires a day to the hochi not uhu to establish why Shemen has a bracha of Bayer Prihaitz. And the steps in Rashi seem to be, and we'll come back to the Rashi in in, 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 later in the year, that since any time one crushes a zayis, it's ishtani. Ishtani, by definition, means it's lost, it should lose its status as pre. The reason why it can still be in the category of Bayer Prihaitz is because a day to the hochi not uhu. But we have no Gemara about that. The Gemara never seems to need to invoke Natu Adai to the Hochi for the case of Shem and Zayis. But before we see other applications that the Rishonim expanded the Gemara's use of Natu Adai to the Hochi, we'll begin with a very fundamental machloikas between the Evan Ho'ezer and the Taz. In the beginning of Simon Reish Dalad, he had the Taz discusses the Taz in Sifkot and Dalad discusses the following case. Can I tell the the page? I'm sorry. Give me the where is I it? I don't have the book. I have the book. Oh, I have the book. Yeah, thank you. So this in the Maramakomis pages is on t- page 254 of the Maramakomis pages. The Taz is on the left-hand side of the page. The Shulchan Aruch is discussing our Gemara of Koira, the case of the Dekel, the palm, while it's soft. And the Taz brings the, what the, his summary of the Gemara. Hatam says the Taz. The person doesn't intend to consume the koira while the dekel is still soft and pliable. The intention is to leave it until it becomes hardened. Because he wants the dekel to produce tomorrow, not to produce koira. Koira is an edible food, but the more lucrative product of the dekel is tomorrow. So therefore, Rashi said, as we saw, that by consuming it in its koira state, we will, we will stunt the growth and limit the growth of the dekel. Therefore, the intention is yaset tomorrow. 
And therefore, the bracha of Kaira, as it says, Paskin and Shulchan Aruch, based on the Gemara, is the halacha is Shahaka. The Taz now expands this to a different case, namely, the Taz has established that the principle of Noti Adai to the Hochi means that the intention is not to consume it in its current state, but it should be left until it hardens into something else. So Zot the Taz, what would be the halacha in the following case? Someone wants to eat arbiz shotten, which is, which, is, which is peas in the pod, snack peas, which are eaten, not which can be eaten not cooked, but can be eaten as they are, raw from, uh, as after picked. So says the Taz, yesh chilak. There's a difference between whether the, what the bracha is. The oison shen isroim beganois, those are planted in gardens, are manasla oichwam chayim b'sharvitehim. They were planted to be eaten raw while the peas are still in the pod. So there the Taz says, Yesh levorech b'er pri hadoma. Avol, oison shezerim basodois, those are grown in larger fields, commercially. Lahoniach ad sheyiskashu, to be left until they're hardened. V'yuvashlu oison, which is the peas that we eat commonly. Says, says the Taz, Ein pri hadoma. You should not make a bore pri hadoma masha oikri mehem kisha oidom retuvim velachim. Doloi noti adai to the hochi, ele yesh levorech aleim shehakoil. So the Taz so says, in our piece is a, is a, is a shak. So says the Taz the following. Yeah. Let's take it in a moment. If they're, pl- says the Taz, there's a piece can be left in the field to grow until they're hardened. Once they're hard and they can't be eaten raw, they can only be cooked, which means then they're howled and then the peas are cooked. Canned, canned. canned peas, which is what we, what, our common peas. I mean, it can be frozen, they don't have to necessarily be canned. But then there's a case of what's called arbus shotten, which is peas that are eaten in the pod raw. raw. Zok the taz, now it depends. The aloha on that depends. If one takes those peas eaten raw from a garden, which are grown on a small scale, the intention was that they should be eaten raw. They're picked quicker and eaten raw. So that, in that case, says the, says the Taz, it was not the adaita, the hochi, to eat raw. So then the bracha would be very priyadoma. But where it was adaita, the hochi, to leave it in the field originally at the time of planting until it became hardened, and then it would be eaten only cooked. So if someone would pick them earlier, and eat them raw, says the Taz. In that case, the brach would be shahakoya, like koira. Because since it was loy noti in sheadai to the hachi, our Gemara establishes that the bracha then becomes a shahakoya. So what the Taz has said is this. Koira is the, is, the, is, is, the, is the principle that where something is planted and can be, eat, can be eaten in its unfinished form, soft. If it's being left to harden, then the bracha in its unfinished form is a shahaka. That's kaira. Now, even though when kaira is left to harden, it's going to harden into a tree, it's not going to harden into food. But zoktataz, the principle is that whenever something is consumed prematurely, namely, the adai to the hachi establishes that the intention is it should be left to harden. When it's consumed earlier, the bracha is shahakoil. So zoktataz, now it depends. If the peas were planted in order to be consumed raw, then that's not the adai to the hachi. That would be like koiro being not the adai to the hachi, which incidentally, I imagine that the Olam has, has discussed what Ramosha writes in the tshuva, that it happens to be in the case of koiro, even if it was not the adai to the hachi, Ramosha says bottle daito. So just what I just said, that it would have been like koiro had it been not the adai to the hachi, was not ladina, it just meant in, in theory. Moshe Negris Moshe clearly addresses the Shaila and Paskins otherwise. But in the case of the peas, says the Taz, if they were planted in the field in order that they should eventually harden into cooking peas and they were picked early and eaten raw, says the Taz, What's the din of Loinoti Inche Adai to the Hochi? The din is a Shahako. This is the din of the Taz. Now, the Chiddush of the Taz, let's, let's first before we see the Ebena Oizer, which the Oilam finished the Hachonot Shir with, let's first, just first point out the Chiddush that's Mavur in the Taz. In the Gemara, the examples that we saw of Koira, Hugla, or Alan and Tamrois, 
are all instances where we need Noti in Shadai to the Hochi to take something which we would not and give it the status of truth. And we'll see this Be'ez Hashem in Mufurish and the Rishenim as we proceed. What's the issue with Kaira? The issue with Kaira is Kaira is the bark of a tree. It's the tree. It's tree, or it's the core of the, it's the core of the trunk. Yeah, but it's also something which grows out of the, the top. And the, yeah. right. but it's beisaydo. It's bark. It's niskasha. It's oymed to become its eight. It's a part shimer. A bark is a shimer. It's not a shimer. It's possibly not bark. I think I was corrected that it might. It's the core of the of the of the trunk. But it, to, for this discussion, it, it won't it, it won't won't affect it. Will make a difference. Who are in pugla? Pugla. We have a question that since pugla eventually will turn into eight. Do we consider it Yerek or do we consider it Eitz? Pugla is our red radishes. Pugla is is it is it is it snoin? I'm assuming, our yeah. red radishes. I'm assuming it's 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 a form right. It's some form of a, of a of a bulb which eventually hardens. And then the third case is also Alan and Tamroys, which are leaves and protrusions, which are not usually considered the pre of a tree, as is going to be Mavur in the Gemara later that we'll see Benegir to the dinam of Arlon Shvias. The question is, can Noti in Shi'adai to the Hochi establish its status as pre? And we see this in Rashi. Rashi says that when a pre is nishtane, that's losing its Shem pre, for example, Kaisis Chitin, where it turns into Kamcha, or Zayis, which is then transformed into Shemen. Says Rashi, if that transformation would allow it to hold on to the Shem pre, depends on Noti in Shi'adai to the Hochi. Since an olive is planted to eventually be pressed into shemen, not to inshiadai to the hachi, mashainkein kamcha is not the original intention of chita, it's eventually to be transformed into past. So in the, in the Gemara's presentation, to Pshutoi, we see that the issue of not to inshiadai to the hachi or lam not to the hachi doesn't seem to be like the Taz, that something is along a continuum where I could consume it now or I could consume it later. And the question is, what did I plant it for? To be consumed and when it's still soft or to consume when it's hard? The issue of the eventual hardness isn't because did I intend to eat it prematurely or did I intend to leave it go to full harvest? The, the issue of what it will be le basoif is because basoif, it will become something which is not a maichal at all. Snoin will eventually become an eight. Koira will become an eight. And Alam and Tamras are not a Michael, they're leaves on a tree. So Noti in Shiadai Tadahi is to give something which ordinarily we wouldn't give and accord the status of pre to Adai Tadahi accords it the status of pre. Rashi says, for example, if something is Nishtane such that it lost its Shem pre, Noti in Shiadai Tadahi says, no, that's pre. What does that mean? What's the concept of Noti in Shiadai Tadahi based on the basic reading of the Gemara? And, 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 and the understanding that we have from Rashi, the definition of the term pre means the yield of something, its product. A child is called pre botten Stochor pre habotten So it's Lashon and Tehillim. Pre means the yield of something, what it produces, its outcome. So whenever we have something growing, we want to define what's considered the culmination of this growth. What was this growth supposed to produce? In the case of Zaysim, says Rashi, it's to eventually produce Shemen Zayis. So the pre of the, of the, of the Zayis tree is Shemen. But when a person plants a Dekel, the pre of the Dekel is not Kaira. The, the yield from a Dekel is Tmarim. When a person plants a Pugla, the question then is, what is the yield? What is this intended to become? Is it intended to become eight? Or is it supposed to be consumed when it's still soft? Alin and Tamrois is the intended product of, of a tree, its leaves and, 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 what is, and what's on the leaves, the, the Rashi, Rashi says the tomorrow that are on the surface of the leaf, we would assume not. Noti in Shaddai to the Hochi means when, I, when the person planted the tree, what was his intended yield from the tree? What's the culmination of this growth? What is this growth supposed to produce and bring, bring out? That's the sugi of not to inch yadai to the hachi. Why, why does Kavana, a player here in, in Hilchis Brachas, so in Hilchis Mitzvahs, Mitzvahs Rikhis Kavana? Why? Where do we find that plant? Where do we find such a concept? And we'll, 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 try, we'll, we'll try and elaborate on that further. For the moment, what we're saying is, 
is because since this growth can have different purposes, we can have a decal planted for Kaira, and we can have a decal planted for Tamarim. Noti Inchi Adai defines what the pre of this giddle is, what this growth is. And that's partly an answer to Rav Shalim Shaila, but we'll, we'll come back to it. Whenever something is planted, what's the intention? What's the goal? What's the yield of this growth? Noti Inchi Adai says, the chashibas of pre is defined from the outcome of this giddle. Now, but in the Taz's case, the outcome is either way uh, is, is the peas. The only question is in what form do you want to consume them? Do you want to leave them to grow fully or do you want to consume them when they're still edible raw? Why is that a sugya of Nati Adai Tadahi? It doesn't seem to parallel the chlal, the sugya sagimara. This question, the Chazonish asks on the Chazinish asks this question on a Tshuva Sarajba. The Tshuva Sarajba says the following. The Tshuva Sarajba discusses a case, and the Tshuva Sarajba is quoted in the Ebena Oizer, which is on the supplementary Marimakremis page, top on the, on the, on the left-hand side, the, the first piece. Second piece. Yeah, you love me the second piece, right? The first piece. In Simon Rishdal. He says in the third line, Shuba Saraj Bo Simon Tov Chav Ches. Oh, this first, there's Evan Ezra. Yes, yeah, I apologize. Yeah, on the yeah, left-hand yeah. side, first, first Evan Ezra. So the Evan Ezra, second paragraph on the, on the side. Okay, let's, let's uh, put that up and make it bigger, yeah. please. Kol Shezori Adaito Lemechal Hain Atzmon Biber Choson Haru'u Yolahem Says the Raj Bo, anything that was planted to be consumed in a state where it's fit to have its brocha made on it, so says the Rajbah, even if the usual stage of growth at which this pre is consumed hasn't yet come, like grapes that are not fully ripened. Boisar, grapes. Yeah, of the passing in Tilim, but always Achlubaisa Shine Bon in Tikhen. Sorry, not passing in Tilim, sorry. Bon Machlubaisa Shine, but always Achlubaisa Shine Bon in Tikhen. Boisar means grapes are eaten before their time. Now, as long as they reach a certain stage of growth, then the halacha says the rajbo is the bracha will be boyer pri ha'etz. Oy b'shari lanois, or other trees mishayu itziu, a stage in growth, which Blineida will learn in the Gemara and the Flam and Vav and Vez. Says the rajbo, mivorech bebirchoson ha'ru'uya. In that case, despite the fact that the grapes are being consumed at the stage of boisar, the bracha is still going to be bar prihaitz. Says the Raj, says the Rajba. Why is the bracha bar prihaitz? The Rajba makes the following contrast. He says, We learned the halacha in Taisus, a discussion of what the halacha of Shkedim are. Shkedim are almonds, where Taisus says, has a discussion of what the bracha of Shkedim are. So Taisus says, Oisam Shkedim Shehim Rakim, let's quote the Lashon of Taisus. Those shkedim, when they're still not fully, fully, fully developed, the outer shell is, is eaten. And in that case, says the, says Teisvis, the bracha is going to be shahakoil. That's what Teisvis says. Shkedim harakim, where until the, the, the almond is completely, de- it's completely developed, the outer peel, which eventually becomes too hard to eat, is soft enough to eat together with the pulp of the, of the, of the, of the nut. So in that case, says Toysavus, the broch is going to be shakoil. Says the Rajba, why? The shani shkedim, shkedim are different. Deloinoti inchi ki im lecho bekatnuson ha klipois, da az ha klipois hein ha iker ayin shom betshuva. So the Rajba is asking on his own premise. He's saying like this. I just established, says the Rajba, that if you have a pre which is growing and hasn't yet reached full ripeness, the bracha is still going to be the final bracha that will eventually be made, even though usually the intention is to allow the pre to fully ripen. But since it's already reached the stage of either boiser or pre mishayotziu, the bracha can already be a boiser priyotz. Says the Rajba, I have a steer to that. 
Tosis establishes that shkedim, when they're eaten earlier before they're ripe, says Tosis, the bracha is going to be shahakoil because loy noti in so, 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 and Rajma says that would seem to be a steer. Shkedim before they become fully ripe is a shahakol. It's not the Rajma, it's a mistake. In the case of shkedim, what is the what's the main fo- purpose of the consumption of shkedim when they're rach? Not the nut itself, but it's it's peel, it's shell, which in the, to- in the point of where it's rach is still edible. Says the Rajba, so you're eating the shell, you're not eating the nut itself. The shell, says the Rajba, if you can make a broch on it, depends on noti inche adai to the hachi. Like alin and tamrois, which are ordinarily not assumed to be pre, they're leaves. So too, says the Rajba, shell is not pre. The only way you can make that have the bracha of Bayer Prihait is not the inchi adai to the Says the Rajba in the case of Shkedim, it's like not the inchi adai to the Masha Enkin says the Rajba in the case of where your intention is to eat the pre itself, then regardless of whether or not the pre has reached its intended maturity and ripeness or not, the bracha is Bayer Prihait. So let's summarize what we have in the Chuvas Rajba. The Chuvas Rajba seemingly is discussing the case of the Taz. Well, we have something, in this case, in the case of the Rajba, grapes or any other fruit, which normally is consumed when fully ripe. A person wants to eat it when it's boisa. He wants to eat it, Mishayu Etziu. What's the bracha? Zot the Rajba, the bracha is going to be Boyer Priyo why? Because your intention was eventually it should grow to full maturity and be used in preform. So then even when it's used prematurely, it's still the bracha is still very priorities. Says the Rajbo, I'll show you from Shkedim, now that's not correct, that Shkedim Hamorim, when they're consumed before they're fully ripe, the bracha is Shakoil. So the Rajbo, that, that case is not relevant here. Why? Because in the case of the Shkedim that are consumed when they're rach, the intention is the klipo, the intention is the shell, not the nut itself, not the shocket itself. Therefore, you're not consuming pre, you're consuming the klipa, and whether or not the klipa has a barrier parade, that does depend on not to inch your to the So the Rajba, in other words, is discussing, does the principle of not to inch to the hachi, that the intention of planting ordinary pre is for it to be eaten only when it's ripe, will that change the bracha when the, when the anovim, for example, are only eaten by sand? Only eaten by sa. And this halacha can, can be relevant to halacha lemaisa. Very often, if you buy grapes in the, in, 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 you buy grapes, sometimes in the, bo- in, the, in the box or even on the or even on the cluster, there are grapes that are clearly underdeveloped. They're still small and hard and somewhat sour. And it's a, it is a number of pratan halacha that one has to know benegir to what the bracha of, the, of that grape is. Boisa, what's the din? Now, if it's maran off, it's that's a different shayla, which Beis Hashem will come to in the Gemara Lamed Beis. But a, a grape which hasn't reached full maturity, what's the bracha? Zot the Rajba. The bracha is very priorities. But the Rajba is, is the Rajba is having a shaklavatariya. How the concept of noti inchi adai to the hochi should apply in this case. So the Rajba says, noti inchi adai to the hochi is not going to play a role here. Why? Because he says, as long he says, kol shazori adati lamechalhin atzman bebrachasan haruilahem. Since your intention is to eat the fruit unchanged, you can still make the bracha. Asks the Chazinesh in Simon Lamed Gimel, Sifkat and Dalad, and this is not on the Marmakoyim sheet, we'll just mention briefly the cash of the Chazinesh, and primarily we're just mentioning the Chazinesh to, to be able to be an, serve as an introduction to the Evan Ho'iza, which we'll see. Asks the Chazinesh, where do we find the sugyo of noti in she'adai to the hochi on something that is pre? Just read the Lashon of the Chazanish briefly. He says, Sorachi and my kushya, what's the Rajba struggling with? When he says, even though normally grapes shouldn't be eaten like that, should that be an issue of not to in Shaddai to the Hachi? He says, Holy Nizka Bagimara. We don't find ever that the Gemara requires not to in Shaddai to the Hachi, Ela Bedovar She'enoi Ikarapri. It's only in something that we need not to in Shaddai to the Hachi to give it the status of pre, because otherwise we wouldn't consider this the primary purpose of the growth. For example, Kaira, or for example, Pugla, or for example, Alan Vitambros, where we wouldn't be able to accord it the status of pre unless 
the planter had intended that this be the yield of this growth. And that gives it the Hashiva Supreme. He says, and Zot the Chazanish, and were it not for Noti Adai to the Hachi, what would the Din be, says the Chazanish? The Ein Roy Levorich, all of And we would never have made a Boyer Prayat at all. After Noti Adai to the day, the Ein Hanido in Rakim Levorich, Boyer Priyadomo Ishahako. Says the Chazanish, I'll prove it to you. He says, let's look at the Gemara. What's the case that the Gemara discusses? Noti in Shadai to the Hachi. What's the case? The case is Koira, like we said, Pugla or Alan Batamaris. What would be the bracha in the case of Noti in Shadai to the Hachi? So we know Pugla is a Hadoma, Koira, according to Rabbi Yehuda, is Hadoma, and Alan Batamaris, which are Nati Adai to the is Hadoma. Fekta Chazanish, I don't understand. Why should they be Hadoma? If it's not the inch yadai to the hochi, that's the pre. So it should be a boy pre Obviously, pugla not, because pugla is a yarek. But Alan and Tamrois, if it's a dai to the shusa, so the bracha should be boy pre Koira according to Yehuda. Why is it not boy pre There's a kusha tsuma on the Gemara. And Be'ez Hashem, as we progress, we'll see that the Rishonim address this, address this shayla. But Zod the Chazanish, let's, let's read a Gemara. The Gemara begins with the Machloikis, Rabbi Yehuda, and Shmuel. What's Rabbi Yehuda's position? Barapri Adama. Why? According to Rabbi Yehuda, it should be pre, it should be Barapri Ait. What's the, what's the starting point of this sugya? The Gemara brings the Machloikis. Koira. Mavarchemala, Rabbi Yehuda, and Barapri Adama, Shmuel, Oimer, Shakon, Yabidvar. And the Gemara says, the Machloikis, not in Shadai to the Hochi, Eloi, not in Shadai to the Hochi. So if it is not in Shadai to the Hochi, so let it be. We're speaking about something that never will be the Iker Shem Pri of the Elon, despite the Noti In Shadai to the Hachi. So what do we see? By definition, the Sugya is discussing something where the, the premise of which is that it's not Pri at all, and therefore should be Sha'akoil. Noti in Shadai to the Hachi gives it the Hashivas of some form of Pri, but not the Pri of an Elon. It doesn't give it the Hashivas of Bari Priya 8, and we'll see what that dis- how to make that distinction that it's Pri, but yet, yet not Priya 8. But Zod the Chazanish, I have a Gemara Mufureshes. We never find Noti in Shadai to the Hachi on something that is not Pri, except on something that would not be Pri. Horaya. That Noti in Shadai to the Hachi only ever accomplishes by Repri Adama. Vice the Chois, the Sugi of Noti in Shadai to the Hachi is, pre, is, is predicated on, the, on the, whatever it is not being, a pre, a, not being the Pri of the Elon. Now, the only Shaili is, is it Shahako because it's an Achila Baalmo, or does it have some type of Shem Pri when get to Bayer Pri Adama? So, Zotte Chazanish, in the case that the Rash was discussing, where we have Pri or, or not a Pri, why should the Rashba be struggling with Noti in Shadai to the Hachi? That's not the Sugya. Is there, is there any Tzad that when Anovim grow full, that's not the Ikipri of the Elon? Of course it is. That's very Priyayi. It's the Mishnah. So Elamai, we now have a Shaila. Anovim, before they reach that, what's their din? Zod the Chazanish, that's not the Sugya of Noti Adai to the Hachi, Eloi Noti Adai to the Hachi. Now we have a, a different Shaila. If something hasn't reached its full Giddle, does it have Hashiva's pre? That's a Shalom Kala Terakula, which is going to be in the Gemara and Mamad Vavam Beis. The Shir Boisa, the Shir Mishi, see what that accomplishes for Shem Pri. But the Sugim Nati Dai Tadachi is irrelevant. As if the Chazanish. Now, Ad Kedekach, that the Chazanish assumes that this is a, this is a Kushiat Tzum on the Rajba, that the Chazanish says that's what the Rajba Taki means. That's what he's answering. The Rajba is Gufa saying the reason why a to the Hachi is not relevant here is because you're planting something which, if it's left to grow to full maturity, says the Rajba, you'll make a brach of Bayer Priya on. So, if you say the Sugim Nati in Shadai to the Hachi is irrelevant. He says, Venir de Zukavonas a Rajba. Ma Mahalach. Zod a second Mahalach, Mumachudish de Kemalach. And this will be the, this will be the gateway be- 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 Hashem, to this Evan Oizek. Zod Chazanish, maybe the Rajbo means something else. He said, maybe the Rajbo means that whenever a pre grows to full maturity, it includes within it the previous step of Boisa. That's what the Chazanish means. The Chazanish is conceding that, and the Hanami, we need not to inche to the Hachi. 
But the reason why when you consume, let's say, a pre before it's fully, fully ripe, the reason why it's going to have the bracha of Bari or eights is because there is a noti in Shia the hachi because the end result is going to include the unripe pre. So therefore, the unripe pre is included in the noti in Shia the hachi. It's not two distinct states. Meaning, our Gemara, when it discusses noti in Shia the hachi, what are we talking about? We're talking about kaira, which will eventually harden, will bear no resemblance to the kaira that could be eaten while it was soft. A can of a, a hearts and palm, hearts of palms in a can, <laughs> there's no resemblance to what we're gonna, what you see when you see a decal in the field. It's a totally different materials. Huadin, Rashi says, snoin when it becomes niskasha turns into eights. Alan and tamrois is Alan and tamrois. It's a different materials. Masha'in came in the case of boisa to a full to a full pre, a full pre and boisa is just progression of the same goof. It's just different. It's just it's just further along in its maturity. Memele, even though that says the Chazanish, the Rajba understands that nati in she'adai should be an issue because the intention is only the end. But until it's reached that, we can't say that the das wasn't on the interim stage also. Kuri is an emerging tree. It's an emerging tree. If you want to say it that way, yes, we could say it that way. So he says, Even if you eat it prematurely, his das also has established a undeveloped fruit as part of the, as part of the intended yield of this, of this tree. A very broad nafkimina now. The hainu. The Chazanish began the sugya with the premise that we made, that we only find the concept of Nati in Shadaitahi in a case where something could never be considered the pre of the Elon. And it's only a question of using Nati in Shadaitahi to accord it the status of pre of some status of pre. And that we drew an analogy to Rashi that whenever something is ishtani and loses its status of pre, Nati in Shadaitahi can establish its status as pre. So the Chazanish first says, that's, that you say maybe is, this, is the intention of this Rajvah. And then the Chazanish says, no, La'ila, maybe we could apply not the in to the Hachi in this case. The reason why, in the case where you eat something prematurely, the Rajvah says, it's consistent with not the in to the Hachi, is because, in this case, it's the same pre, just developing, so the Adaita is even on the pre that's created. Um, oh. So the Chazanish says, says, says by Shkedim, excellent, and thank you for asking. By Shkedim, the Chazanish says, he says the... What's the, the, the Metzius on Shkedim? The Metzius on Shkedim is, Tysis, and we'll, we'll see this more, more in the Rishenim in a moment, that what we have is, is, is Shkedim, which where they're soft, are sweet enough to eat. When they fully develop, they become too bitter to eat, and then they can only be eaten after so, they're cooked. So what we're eating sweetened. is still, we're eating is still the sweet stage? Correct. We're eating what's called Shkedim. We're asking, we're, we're, we are eating a different kind of Shkedim. We're eating them. That's not the shade yeah. of Tysis. Correct. And that's, there's two different, there's two different, there's two different. Huh? Yeah. Afterwards, correct. Afterwards, correct. Oh, go ahead. Otazai. Does not the Chazanish. He says that's what the Rajma means in his Loshan, that when you're eating Shkedim early, you're eating it primarily for the Klippa. He says that you're never going to eat when it grows fully. So therefore, the whole reason why you can eat a novim bois and make the bracha is because that very same pre you're going to eat when it matures. But here, exactly like you're saying, Zot the Chazanish, the, 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 the Rajba emphasizes that when it's, when the Shkedim are, 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 are not yet fully grown, Noti in Shedai Tadachi establishes that the Klippa is the intention of the Achila, that, that you won't eat when it's Neskasha. So that, that answers your question. So that's exactly what the Chazanish says. So this is where we have clearly this is Soyed from the Chazanish. Two possibilities of how to learn this Tshuva Sarajba. Now let's come back to the task. Based on this Tshuva Sarajba and the two possibilities that the Chazanish gave us, what now should be the din in the case of the Taz? The Taz discusses peas that are grown in a field where since they're grown commercially, the intention is to allow them to dry out so that the peas can only be eat cooked. Then someone comes and he eats, picks them raw from the field and eats them raw, which normally is reserved for those that are grown in the Gino. And here we're doing it in the Sade. Zot the Taz, you're eating it too early. The intention of, of the planting was that the outcome of this growth, the yield should be complete at full maturity. And you're eating it before. The bracha, therefore, is going to be shakal. As they pass in the taz. That's what we saw. 
go back to the lotion of the Taz, in page 254 in the Marim Akimis, the Taz says, but those that are in the Sadeh, if you now look in the, in the back to the go back to the Evan Oizer, left hand side of the supplementary Marimakimis page, third parag- third piece, third paragraph, second piece of Evan Oizer, in the beginning of where it says Reish Vav in the beginning. I'm, I apologize, the second, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, where, the, where it says Reish Dalad. I'm sorry, not the third, the second. I apologize. The Ebn Oiza quotes the Taz, and he says, Posa kataz bishaviti akitnyois. In peas in the pod, shekoy in arbus shutin, right? And they've added in, the, in, in modern Hebrew, afuna, which is the word for, for peas. Oison shen izroim sodoy shleimois. Those that are planted in large fields. Mevorach aleim ba'udom lachim shakoy lafila lakitnyis mishum loinoti inchi adai to the hochi. Zog the Ebn Oiza vi'ishtamit minei. The Taz seems to be ignoring tshuva sarajba. That you can eat anovim boisar. If you can eat anovim boisar, then according to the chuvasar ashba, there's no concept of not in the in this case. And this should be consistent with both pshatim of with both pshatim of the of the chazinish lachura. According to the first pshat, we never say nati in shiadaitadachi except on something which is not ikarapri. Well, we need not to in Shadai give it the status of, 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 of an Eichel. And according to the second chat of the Chazanish in the Rajba, that where the eventual product will be just an outgrowth of what it is currently, also there's no concept of not to in the, the, there's, no, there's no issue of not to in Shadai because your das is on the interim. So either way we learn the Rajba, the Ebn is asking, what, how do we answer that this cash up? That the Truvasa Rajba seems to be Saiser, seems to be Saiser at Taz. Now, if the time allows us, we'll come back to see the issue of the Yad Ephraim on this Kasha. But let's right now just extract a principle from, 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 from this, from this Evan Oizer. The Evan Oizer is showing us the Truvasa Rajba, and Evan Oizer summarizes what he derives from this Truvasa Rajba. And he says, If you go now to five lines from the end of the Evan Oizer, about the middle, about towards the end of the sentence, there's a period. And the Evan Oizer says, Avo didan. It's two lines below where the yellow highlighting ends. Well, there's a period after the word Hamacholim and begins Avo Benidin Didan. So Zot the Evan Oizer, Avo Benidin Didan, Denoti Inchi Adat, Lamechal Oisam in Birchosam. It's that very thing which a person tends to eat with its brocha. Mabakach says the Evan Oizer, Shalahigiyaz Manam Shadayin Lachin. What does it mean by im berchasam? Lechel oisam im berchasam. Lechel, I mean that's a par- that's paraphrasing the lashon of the Rajba that oh, where oh. the intention is to eat oh, that be berchasam. Now, right, okay. there's another reason why the Rajba says lechel oisam im berchasam, which we'll just touch on briefly, is that. But before we do that, let's just summarize what we learned from the Evan Oizer. What the Evan Oizer has established is one of two things according to the Chazanish. Either that when we're on the conti- a continuum of growth, we never look at the concept of not in shadai to the hachi. Not in shadai to the refers exclusively to a case where something would not be considered pre or maichol, and we need not in shadai to the to establish its, its chashivos in the first place. Or, says the Chazanish, where there's a continuum of growth, not in shadai to the applies to the initial phase, even to the initial phase. The Ebeno Oizer, and that's back in the highlighted area, asks a cash on himself. It's in the area between the two highlighted pieces. He asks a cash on himself. He says, I have a stira. I've just established that whenever something is along its continuum of growth, there's no issue of not to in Shadai to the Achi. Zod Rajba, I have a stira. Well, we're going to have a Gemara on Daflam and Vavum is the Gemara of Palpalin, pepper. Now, pepper grows on, a, grows on a tree, eventually hardens to the point that it's, not, it's no longer edible. And at that point, it's crushed into the, into the seasoning that we know. The Rishonim discuss what brocha is made if palpalin are eaten before they harden. One picks a pilpo off the tree and eat it in what's called, when it's, when it's called when it's lach. Or in the Loshan of the Gemara, biritivta. While it's still moist, 
It's not yet hardened to the point that it's inedible and can only be crushed into a seasoning, but it's it's beratifta. What's the din of that of, of, of that? What's the din of that of, of that of that pilpo? So the Rasbos Shita is that the Brocha is Bur Prihadama. Why is the Bracha Bur Prihadama? Zok the Chubas Rajbo that the Basisa brings in Timon Rej Bays that they know is there. Why? And the Rajbo says, what's the reason for that? The Rajbo says the reason why is because a noitin oisam elo al das she yisyabshu. When people grow pepper on trees, it's grown in order that eventually it should be dried and turned into a seasoning. It's not grown in order that it should that it should be used to be eaten in well, it's in its in its in its in its wet in its moist state. So therefore, says the Rajba, if it's eaten in its retifta in while it's still moist, before it's reached the intended maturity of becoming dry and then being crushed into a seasoning, the brach is not going to be pri ha eats, but it's going to be pri ha doma. Because lo inoti in to the hochi. Break the evan oizer lo inoti in to the hochi. It's a pre. Here we have the reverse case, Rabbi Say. Let's let, let's be let's let's be precise. In the case of the Paz, or the case of the first Chubas Arashba, we're speaking about something that is being eaten prematurely and will eventually develop. Zokta, Zokta Evan Oizer, but based on the Chubas Arashba, something developing has no issue of not in Shadai to the Hachi. Zokta Evan Oizer, what about in the reverse case, where eventually it will become something that can only be crushed as a spice, but now is edible? What do we say? Zokta Arashba, lo not in Shadai to the Hachi. Why? It's a pre. It's again, it's along its continuum, just the other way. No, and this is where it comes from Shlomo's Diak in the Loshan of Rajba. That since when you eventually consume the palpalin, you will be crushing it as spice. And in that case, it will, in that, in that form, it will have entirely lost its Hashiba Supri. So therefore, it will be, it will be a, a seasoning which other Abba Zokta Evan Oiza will be bottle to whatever tavshal it's being put in. It's, it's just seasoning. Memele, the intention is that eventually it should lose its shempri. Therefore, says the Evan Oiza, in the interim, it can't have a shempri. What, what's this for? Why? Why? Why should it be like that? Evan, in other words, Rabbi said to summarize, the Evan Oiza has asked the question on himself. He says, if something which is growing until it's fully ripe can have a bracha very pro eight, because not the in shi'adai to the hochi doesn't apply as the Evan Oiza says to something shalohi gias manoi because it's pre. So zot the Evan Oiza, why then does the Raj was saying in the, in, the, in, the, in the reverse case where eventually it will become inedible, but right now it's a pre, why can't it be a pre now? We're talking about the pre of the Elon. So Zod the Rajba, that's Zod the Evan Oizer, that's what the Rajba is emphasizing when he says that your intention is eventually to eat the grapes bibir chasam. Your intention is to, eat, to allow the grapes to fully mature so you can, in the form that they can have a bird priates made on them. In the case of palpalin, however, Zod the, Zod the Rajba, what's going to happen? You're going to eat it al yidei taruva is achashem nisyabish, and it's going to be bottled to the meichel. You're not going to be making a bracha bird priates on it. In fact, it's not going to have the chashivas of pri at all. Mimela says the Rajba not in Shiadai to the Hochi in that case plays a role. Now, what do we see? What do we see in the in the Evan Oizer? Let's go back now to the Chazanish. The Chazanish gave us two possibilities how to understand the Rajba. Either not in Shiadai to the Hochi never applies to something which is primary pre, or the reason why not in Shiadai to the Hochi doesn't apply by Anovim is because the final product assumes the earlier stage. Now, According to the second Mahalach of the Chazanish, that the later stage will always assume the earlier stage, we understand the Evan Oizer very well. Because the final stage is, it's going to be Tavlin, it's going to be spice. It's going to be too Yovish to eat. So even though now it has the status of pre, but Labasoif it won't. So therefore we don't have not to inchi adai to the interim, because the final product doesn't assume the earlier stage in Chashivas. But according to the first Mahalach of the Chazanish, that we never say not to in Shaddai to the except for something that's not Roy La Achila, and we need not something, I'm, I'm sorry, that has a status of pre and a Michael. So, why again should they make a difference if the eventual intention is that it should become, it should become Yovish? It's pre. What, what's, the, what, what's, the, 
What's the chiluk of the, of, of, of the Evan or Ezer? So, Kipshutoi, we would say, Mavur and the Evan or Ezer, like the second Mahalach of the Chazinish. But on the other hand, the Chazinish's first taina is a taina at Sumo. We only find not to inch our to the Hachi in a case of something that's not Roi Be'etzim to be a pre. In which case, it shouldn't apply to Palpalin. So we have back the Kasha from the from the Chubis Arashba. So this, 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 this question now, in order to approach this Shailah, we'll now go back briefly to see how the Rishonim understand the issue of Kaira. What is the sugya of Noti in Shiadai to the Hochi in the Rishonim? So far, we've had Mashmos from the Chubis Arashba. What state Mufurish in the Rishonim? So here, here Abay say, let's now go back to this fundamental point that the Chazanish makes in the sugya, from where the sugya begins. That Koira, the assumption of the Gemara is that Koira, at the, at, so to speak, at the most, could be a Bayer Priyadam. Zod the Chazanish, so we see the sugya of Nati in Shiadai to the Hochi, is referring to something that Be'etzim doesn't have the Chashivas, shouldn't have the Chashivas in the Lashon of the Chazanish of, of Pri. Dover She'eno Ikra Pri, Ve'en Roy Levarachar of Bayer Priyadam. Voshtet in Rishenim. What's the Rishenim's Mahalach? Oh, do we have the, the ability to see the Lashon Rishenim inside? Where, where are we for? Are we going to what? Or do we have the ability to see Lashon Rishenim inside? Yes, time yes, those yeah. one. Where, where are we for? Yeah, for time we're good. Which talk? ones? Just the, the, yeah. the Ra'ah and the, the Ra'ah. Yes, and the, the Ra'ah we can see yeah. inside. So we have, yeah, and, and time we have to pick out. Yeah, we have to pick out. Okay, yeah. Yeah. let's see briefly. So the Ra'ah among the Rishenim is actually the, is, is really the only Rishon, to the best of my knowledge, that directly asks this question, according to Rabbi Yehuda, that Kaira has the Hashivas of Pri, why should the bracha not be by Pri What's the working assumption of, 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 of Rabbi Yehuda's Shita? Rabbi Yehuda begins the sugya by saying, Kaira, by Pri Why? Zogdara Ra'ah, we'll see briefly the Lashon, he says, the Omar of Yehuda by Pri the fourth line, it's considered pre, it's not considered eight, it's not considered the trunk. Since this is not the yield of the tree. Zakhtar Ra'ah, Koira, can never be considered the yield of the tree. It's, it's, it's edible growth, but it's not, it's not the yield of the tree. It's not the pre of the eights. So Zakhtar Ra'ah, even though it's considered pre, so that it could be considered pre hadama, which means you're not just eating wood with a flavor, which would be a shahakal, but you're eating something that has the chashivas of a pre, but Zakhtar Ra'ah, it's no different, that it's not, can't be better than a yerek. Kaira is just a vegetable. It's yerek. It's something growing from the ground, which has the chashivas of pre, but it's not pre ho eight. This is not the yield of the tree. Memele zakter the reason why kaira can never be more than a very pre adama is because there's no havamina that this is pre ho eight. Can't be. There's no havamina that's pre ho eight. If there's no havamina that's pre ho eight, zakter now begins the sugya. If Noti Inshia died to the Hochi, could give it the status of pre, so we can make on it a bracha of very pre hadama, or perhaps it's not even a pre. You're eating just wood with a flavor, in which case the bracha would be shahako. In other words, according to the Ra, we have three categories. We have the pre of eights, the primary product, the primary yield of a tree. We have something which has the chashivas of pre, but is pre hadama like Yerek. And then we have something which is like eight balma. And the Ra'ah spells this out. Dvar Mufurash and Nifla was to the from to the to the Ra'ah from 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 Ksavyad was to a Mitsiya and the Rishainim, a clarity in the Sugya. Zotter Zotter Ra'ah Vaita, and he says, the time of the Shmuel, the reason for Shmuel, the Omar Shahako Mifrashina, we explain, the Hoyl the Soifa La Haksha is Lav Peiro, because eventually we will harden into eights. Not just is it certainly not the pre of the Elon, but it's not even pre. You are eating wood that's flavored. So we have again to summarize three categories pre ho eights, peira, 
and something which is called eights, because of Sofer Lahakshais. So the Ra'ah is now explaining that the Machloikes between Rabbi Yehuda and Shmuel is a Machloikes in Sofer Lahakshais. According to Rabbi Yehuda, it, there was never a Havamina that it should be very pre eights because it's not pre Ha'ilam. The only question is, is it pre or is it eights? What's that, Shaila? Sofer Lahakshais. Now the, the, the Ra'ah the adds, and he says, there are many different kinds of fruits. They can only be eaten when they're soft. While they're still soft. So the Ra is arguing with the Rajba. The Rajba says that a pilpel, which is while it's soft, is hadoma. Says the Ra it's eats. Why? He says, Ela hosom hugufa peira. That's pre. I forgot the soifa lahakshais. Once something is ikka pre ho eats, there's no issue of soifa lahakshais. There's no issue of not yadai to lahaki. Kolhecha de chazi. It all depends on whether or not it's edible right now. Shapir chosha peiri. But a filu be precious soifa lahakshais be eats me komokon kolhecha da katilo ikshe birochich peira have it u peira chosha. Zok der of a hocha be koira. There are all emphasizes. Even to who gufe lav peru who kal, it's not pre. Afal gav to have a midi de ochile, even though it's edible. Even to like koi be milse the soifa la hakshais, it's going to eventually turn into wood. Loi choshib de gidule karkalin and brochal and mikore pre klal el le bruche ale shaka. Muradit. Zot de raw, here it's not considered pre. It's something, pre means that this is the yield of the ground. Here the yield of the ground is wood. Elamai. It has, you want to eat it? So, bracha is shako. And the Ra'ah again emphasizes it. He says, we pass them like Shmuel. That the din is, that koira has a shahako. Zot the Ra'ah, don't make the mistake to compare it to other cases of something that will change states eventually. Zot the, zot the, zot the, zot the, uh, zot the, um, zot the Ra'ah. He says, it's about seven, it's eight lines down from the beginning of the, of the paragraph, beginning of the Hilchasa. He says, We never find Noti in Shadaitalahi ever applying to something which is pre. Then we have Noti in Shadaitalahi. So the her we have in the Ra'a often, this Swara that we began this view with. That the entire sugya of noti in shi'adaitalachi or loy nita in shi'adaitalachi is only relevant where something is not is not is not pre, but where something is where something is pre, then noti in shi'adaitalachi is not is not in shi'adaitalachi is not relevant. As I state, as I state in 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 the ra'ah dvarim furashim mi'idach gisa, if we look in the shitas harivav. Right, the, on the gillion of the riff, on the margins of the riff, even though the revolve doesn't ask this as a question and answer, the revolve merely mentions this betoich dvarim. The revolve is just a brief purish, is just a brief purish on the is a brief purish on the riff, in the pages of in, in the in the booklet's pages. The shitas the shitas the shitas harivav is on page forty eight of the Mara In the middle of the left side, right. So the revolve, the revolve says that the re, the uh, the reason why the bracha is only going to be is only going to be shahakoil. It's actually on the very bottom. It begins on the very bottom of page forty-seven, the previous page on chafem with aleph in the in 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 the riff in the, in the pages of of the riff at the very bottom of the page. He says, "Tam Reb Yehuda Omar Boyer Pri Adama Oichlahu." According to Behuda, the Brach is Bari Priyadama, despite the fact that it's an Oichel. The Revolve doesn't ask this as a question and answer, but just says, The Ein Ze Piryoy Shel Hadeke Lefikach Mevarech Ola Bari Priyadama. Zot the Revolve, the reason why you can't make Bari Priyadama is not like the Ra'ot said because it doesn't have the shell of tree. This isn't the primary product of the Revolve of the Deca. In other words, it's pre, and it might be considered pre or eights, but in order to consider something pre or eights, this has to be the ikr of the dekel. And the lotion we find repeated in the tour a number of times, like this revolve. The tour, for example, in the end of Simon Reish Bays, when bringing the halacha and bringing bring that, that summarizes the halacha 
of the simon, the, the Torah says, Iker hapri, mevarech ala bari per eitz. V'she'enom iker hapri, bari per hadama. So too, in the beginning of Simon Reish Beis, the Torah says the same Lashon. He says the halacha is, Kol dovar she'godol min ho'ilon, ve'enoi iker hapri, mevarchem ala bari per hadama. So we see Kipshutai that we have a machloikis between the Ra'ah on the one hand and the Torah and the Rivav on the other. Why, according to Rabbi Yehuda, should the Bacha be Bayer Pri Hadama? What's Kaira? What's the basic issue with Kaira? According to the Ra'ah, it's not Pri at all. It's, 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 it's a Yerek. It's a Yerek. It's a vegetable. It happens to be vegetable that grows as part of the growth of a tree, of the development of the tree, but it's a Yerek. According to the Revolve, it's a Pri Ha'ilon, it's a fruit. Just because it's not the Iker Pri of the Elon, that's not the primary pre yield of a Dekel, so therefore it, it, it can't have the Hashibas of the Bracha Bar Priites. So we have a fundamental machloikis between the Ra'a and the Tur. What's the starting point of the Sugi of Kaira? According to the Ra'a, it's not Pri at all, it's a Yerek. And the only Shaila is, is it Yerek or is it Eitz? According to the to, to Tur, and that's based on the Shitas I revolve, the issue is not because it's Yerek. It, it could be Priho Elon. Just as something called Ica Priho Elon, and there's something called a, 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 an, an ancillary product. That the Ica Priho Elon has the Hashivos of Pri Elon. That's called Ho but something that is Agav, it's Pri. There's no reason why it's just not a Yerek. Just it happens to be. It's a Pri that doesn't have the Hashivos of Priho Elon because it's not the Ica Giddle of the Elon. This is the, the, the Machloikis. Nimtseinu Lemeidim that it's very possible that this basic question, do we find noti in sheyadai to the hochi, in the case of something that is pre, and it's an issue of what its intended use is, may depend on this machoikas ra'an and the tur. According to the ra'a, we only find the sugya in a case of something that really is never going to be more than a yarek. And noti in sheyadai to the hochi can never make it more than just being a meichel and a yarek. Whereas according to the tour, the issue was that it's not the Iker of the Elon. So then it's possible that Noti in Shadai Tadahi could actually make it the Iker of Elon. So it's very possible that the Taz that understands that Noti in Shadai Tadahi could be an issue when a pre is not yet Nigmar, will depend on this machoikis of the tour and the Ra'ah. According to the Ra'ah, we never find Noti in Shadai Tadahi in something that's not. The ikr of the that's not that's that's not that that's something that otherwise would be yerek. According to the tour, it's a question of defining what the ikr of the of the of the ilan is. So then, according to the tour, we may possibly have a, a, a mockum for this for the for the for this for this shaila. So that's the basic yisoid which you want to establish in in the shir that this sophic that the chazanish has in understanding the chuvas arajbo and how that impacts the sheet of the taz has its shayrish in the basic machloikis between the tur and the ra'ah, what the issue with kaira is. Is there something called not ikr hapri ha'ilam? Or is it because it, can, it was only ever going to be a yarek? To point out a nafkimina lahalacha, I don't know if it's a common nafkimina, I'm not sure, but to point out a nafkimina lahalacha. We'll just touch on this very briefly and then Blinay to finish with Divya Godot. The Mogin Avram has a chidosh nifla ladina on this from the, based on this sugya. He says something whose bracha would be ordinarily because it's not the ikr of the pre of the ilan. If you make on it a bari pri ha'etz, you would be yaitze. As I state in as I state in Morgan Avra. Mele zokte 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 how far do we carry that Chiddush of the Morgan Avram? What about Alin and Tamrois, the leaves and the protrusions on the leaves that the Brach is very pre -hadom? We know that on the Kafrisin, on the, on the shells of the fruit of the Slav tree, you make a Bera pre -hadom. There says the Sharat Sion, I understand that if you make a Bera pre you'll be Yoytze because it's the Klippa of the pre. So we can consider that also as pre Ha'etz. But Zokta, Zokta Sharatzian, what about on the Alin and the Tamrois? Where the Gemara says, Noti in Shadai to the Hochin, you make a Bara Priyadoma. What happens if you make a Bara Priyadoma in that case? Zokta Sharatzian, maybe in that case, the Mogan Avram would say, 
that you can't be Yotze because that's not called pre -hoyetze. Now let's, let's just briefly consider the Shaila. According to the Ra'ah, the Shaila has no Mokum. Alan and Tamrois. Alan and Tamrois are a Yirek. There's no Havamina that if you make on that a Barapurit, it should be considered pre -hoyetze. It's Yerek. It's only in the Shita of the Tur and the Revolve that the discussion of Noti Inchi Adaita Dachi is because something that's called the Iker Hapri and something that's called not the Iker Hapri, but they all are fundamentally Peirus. Then says the Mogin Avram, if you make a brach of Bari Pereid, Bidi Eved, you'll be Yitze. It's not the, the Mishara Tzir. Now we have a question how far that goes. Can that even extend to Alan and Tamris? According to the Roch, stuck in Shailan then. Noti Inchi Adaita Dachi means we're discussing a Yerek, leaves growing on a tree or a vegetable. According to the Mogan Avram, we're including pre Ilan. So this is the point which we want to arrive at to the sugya, and this remains la halacha, a sophic of a sophic of the a sophic of the shahatsi. This is the this is the uh, noise that we wanted to establish basic guidelines in. And Bez Hashem, when you learn the sugya on Daflam and Vavam Beza Palpoli, Belinada, we will return to this sugya once again to see more instances where the Rishonim invoke not to in Shadai to the Hachi, and we'll have a similar question to the Chazanish. And Belinada, then we will further analyze the, 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 the parameters of not to in of not to in of not to in Shadai to the Hachi. The The um, parsha, parshas Vayishlach. So the Ramban explains at the beginning of the parsha that Api Api Medrash Rabba that the seder of Mechinim Atzmam Ladoira in Tfilo Umilchama that Yaakov Avinu engaged in before approaching Esav is the Shoresh in Torah, for the oifen in which through the Doiros, Kali Yisrael were approached the Umas Ha'olam under whose authority they were goyle. And the Ramban brings a lotion of the Medrash that when the Tanoim would go to, be, to, the, to, to Roimi, they would learn Hai Parashasa to be able to derive from it the, the oifen in which in which to approach the Malchus, as I, as I state in Ramban, the Shein the Medrash. The question that needs to be asked is, what is it that distinguishes approaching the Malchus in terms of Hishtadlus, that we need a specific parish of Atayra to be able to be Malamed? I read there's so many Oifanim that a person has to understand what the correct maisa to do is, and we don't have a parasha mufureshes patayra. An echo of that is the Ramban in, parasha, in Sefer Dvarim, where the Ramban says the Torah wasn't marich on the protim of mitzvahs ben Adon the because there's alfei oifanim and the Torah can't be mefarish then. So why do we find that dafka in this particular instance of being approaching the, umasa, the malchus of the umas ha'olam, do we find that the Torah establishes a clear parasha how that, how that should be? L'chair approaching, in Klaal Yisrael, there was always an office called the Shtadlam. We don't have parashas mufurashas, but Torah had, had necessarily to be mishtadl in the Nyanei Parnasa. We have the Rishenim Amarich on that. And here we have a parasha mufurashas, but Torah, discussing how to be mishtadl with Etzalam what, what What's mufur here? Now, it is kedai to just add that the, the, the premise of the Shaila may be a mistake in the way we asked it. Why? Because there is a Yesoid Nifla that is in the beginning of the Sefer Malas Atayra from Rabbi Avram, the brother of the Gro, Rabbi Avram Achi Hagro, where Rabbi Avram Achi Hagro says that Be'etzem the Machloikis Horishonim, how to calculate the Tariyag Mitzvahs, really has no Nafkimina whatsoever. Because every word of the Torah is mitzvah. And every word of the Torah create, contains in it an instruction. The only machloikis is, what are the 613 axioms from which all other principles are derived? But every word of Torah is mitzvah. 
The only machloikis is what are shoroshim and what are anofim. Now, it, it should be discussed, we need in a separate limo, that statement that the going says, Einlon and because in the Mishenim and, and in the Kadamonim, we see that abroad in what's Ikra, what's, what's an Ikra Mitzvah, and what's, what's a Sherish, and what's an Anaf. But what the going is establishing is in terms of the Yisoyed Hadvarim, every word of Torah says the Groh is Mitzvah. Every word of Torah contains in it a Mechayev. He says, Ilu, we would know how to learn the parish and understand what's written in the Torah, we would be able to derive from the Torah mitzvah for every instance that we have. What does the word mitzvah mean? Mitzvah means something that's a tzivui, something that is, is an instruction. The specific command. It's correct. It's a tzivui of what to do. He says, but add some every word, every, 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 every table of the Torah contains tzivui. And says, if we, and we see, he says, because in some instances, Chazal showed us how to learn a parasha and derive from it Torah is But really, that could be done, says the Groh, in every word of Torah. And the whole nafkimin of Torah is only Shiroshim and Anofim. As is not the Groh. Every word, the Zayra Kodesh says Torah is Milosh and Hirah, which means every word of Torah contains Hirah, as is stating by. In which case, really, every parasha of Torah could instruct us for every situation that we ever encounter. Just, we don't know how to learn it, says the Groh, the Mokham that Chazal want Megala. So to ask why the Torah created a parasha that was Mitzav in this instance is really not a question, so to speak, on Mikra. It's a question of why Chazal chose to be Megala, to, to be Megala the Hira of, the, of this parasha. And perhaps then we can say the, answers, the answer may be because Chazal Baruch Kachem saw the lawyer of Kaladeiris, this would be part of Kal Yisrael's Matzav in Golos, and it would be critically necessary for them. Hare, we know the, that it's Mavur in the Rishon and Be'ik in the Mepharshi HaGadah, Arami Oived Ovi, that Yaakov was the Rosh Lekol HaGoylem. Yaakov was the first Av who had to be fully Goylem in Mekoyma, even though Avram went temporarily to Mitzrayim. But the Iker Av who went into Golos was Yaakov. So in the, the parish of Yaakov establishes the Iker Maisa of a similar bond of a Golos. So we possibly could say that Chazal Beruach Kodshom foresaw the, 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 the extent to which Klal Yisrael would be Dvuyim Shui and Shufim Chasushon and have to be Mishtal, and therefore they gave us the, the gift of a parish of Atoira that will be Malam and Da'if and that's what we could possibly say, Lefi. We could possibly say, Lefi, the, Lefi, the Gro. It's Kedai just to add a Dovor Nifla in this context that it says in the Keser Rosh from Rabchaim Velozhna, Al Pilagain. That Rabchaim Velozhna says, There is a way in, to, 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 in some way derive eight stuff from the Torah. How is that done? You should learn for some time until you reach something which is close to Lishma. Lishmar kuntur b'chaim v'lozhen means l'shem ha-toyra. To be moisif lekach u'pilpul, to understand Torah for its sake. And then, mashiyala v'machshat v'y is das Torah. Is das Torah? Is das Torah. Is atzas ha-toyra. Azish ten keseresh. The bir hadvarim is, and, and with this keseresh, we relieve some of the tmir in this goin. What does it mean, according to the, the goin, that Rabbi Varma Chiyagro quotes, that the Torah wrote parasha after parasha, which we can't take an etza from? What's the point? The Goyen says, if we would know how to derive, you know, but Chazal didn't tell us, so what do we do? Is that the Goyen, there's a way to be an Eitzel Eitzel and Atayra. One can derive an Eitzel and Atayra by, by learning Torah Lishma. That's a concept of the Goyrul Hagra that comes in Tech Psuke Mikra. Because Torah itself contains Torah Miloshan Tzit Miloshan Hayra. It contains the Hayra. That's possibly one Mahalach which we can suggest for the, for the, for the, for the, for the need of but perhaps, and just in the time we have left, to suggest a much more fundamental mm-hmm. parents to Mishnayla. We understand that the need to be Mishtadel by the Umar Sa'il and where we're in Golos is, 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 a, is, a necessary, is a necessary degradation. And therefore, it's simply a question of establishing what level of Mishtadlus we require in order to be Mephias the Malchus, and for that we have and for that we have Beirun Tefillah, Mulchama, and a parasha. Perhaps what's Muvur over here is something very different. It's part of the Seder of Golos that Klal Yisrael has to be Nichna to the Umas. We know from the Sugi Seif Ksubas, the Sugi of Sholei Shavuaz, Al Timridu Bu Umas, Al Talu Bachayma. It's Laida, it's part of the concept of Klal Yisrael being the Golus, that there is going to be a Seder, which is integral to Golus, that Chasushon, Klal Yisrael, from time to time, will have to mashpil themselves to the Umasayim. 
When Yaakov had to go Likras Esav and be Mishtachve, Chazal say, the Medrash Rabbi says that Yaakov was nitva for the extent of the Achno, but the Achno was necessary. Yaakov, who was the Avla Goylem, established that part of Golus is that we have to be Machnia Rishen. Merutas Lechi, Klaus Rolls describes as. That's part of the Metzias of Golus. Is that a Chiddush? And therefore, hmm? that's such a Chiddush? No. I'm just advising us that perhaps that's the Pesach to this parasha. Mimela, when we need to know to go to the Umois and the extent of being Machnia, it's not that we have to know what the Hishtadlus is necessary to achieve the results. And like in the Loshan of the Tefillah, Sheyapech Leiv HaMalchus V'Yoyatza Basar Avalein. It's to know when the Rabbi Nishalem is being manic that at this moment, as part of the Hashpal of goals, we have to go and be manic uh-huh. ourselves. I mean, sometimes yes, sometimes not. Sometimes not. yes and sometimes not. Sometimes we have to be Mechabal and sometimes we can be Mizgoy. And that klal is not a klal of achieving the results of the Shtadlonus. It's the Hepech. It's when we are mechuyu to yimekayim. The fact that we have to be nichna l'umais is part of what the Seder of Golos is, and times when we don't have to. And l'chayra, only G'day Yisrael can make that decision. It was as the Ramban brings. Even on so Yaakov. Correct. Even on Yaakov. Even on Yaakov. And even on Yaakov, there was a certain fear. This is the, this is the Nakuda which perhaps is Mavur in, in, in this medrash, and that's the Yisoyed of the Sholosh Shvois of the, of the, of, of the Sugi and Subas. It's not a guide to, have to successfully be Mishtadl and what the level of Mishtadl is necessitated. And in fact, just to end with this, the Reli Odesler explains that in the depth, in the depth of it, this is what we were referring to with Shinta Begalusa. Where Kiviyochal, even the Rabbinishlayan's Halhaga, has to somehow be seen as subservient to the Kayach of the Umasailam. It's as though Kiviyochal, the Rabbinishlam, can only be Mani Klaalisa and send Bracha after reckoning with the fact that the Umasailam have control. That's, that's the oymek of what Shechinta Begalusa means. Shechinta Begalusa Kiviyochol means that the Hanhagas in some way is kaif of Reisha to the Metzias of the Shultan of the Umas Oilam. Mokum yesh la'kadosh baruch hu mistorim shmoi shesham boicha al ga'avosam shel Yisrael shen nitla mehem for nitla lo Umas Oilam zat the Gemara Seif Tainis. What does that mean? It means because even the Hanhag of the Rabbein Shalayla muzrechenen has to reckon with the fact that there's a shultan of the Umar is in control. And we will mushba for that. That's a chilek of Golos. That Klal Yisrael sometimes has to be mashpil their kovoy before the Umar Sa'ilam. And the parish is being malamed when and when not. Klal Yisrael has to endure that shift. And then that's the din of Mahu Afata, the Rabbi also cover you up with his mashpil and so. Correct. Okay. 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 Yes, okay. Mincha in uh, two minutes. Bye, sorry.